Hi, Dr. Mora here. Just wanted to check in. I hope you're staying healthy and as sane as you can be. Uh, one of the big patterns that I'm seeing talking to you guys over the last two months is stress and anxiety. Nobody is immune to this right now, including myself. So I wanted to share a few things that I'm taking periodically that have been helpful and maybe they'll be helpful for you. Uh, first, rhodiola, rhodiola rosea. So rhodiola is an adaptogen. Adaptogenic herbs do what they sound like. They help the body to adapt to the effects of stress. So the big indicator for uh, needing rhodiola is fatigue first thing in the morning. So if you wake up and you're still tired after a full night's sleep, rhodiola can be helpful. It also has been shown in studies to help uh, reduce the desire to binge eat, which I know some of you are struggling with right now. And uh, if so, uh, check out rhodiola. Secondly, ashwagandha. I mean, many of you know how much I love ashwagandha. This is an Ayurvedic herb and also an adaptogen. Typically, I'll take ashwagandha towards the end of the day. It helps to lower cortisol. So typically, you want cortisol to be elevated at the beginning and then drop throughout the day. Uh, in our current circumstances, that does not always happen. So giving your body a little bit of help with that with ashwagandha is very useful to help have um, sort of a calm evening and a good night's sleep. Okay, and then lastly, valerian root. So if you really are having uh, bad insomnia or difficulty falling or staying asleep, uh, valerian root uh, can be super helpful. I sometimes have trouble falling asleep, so I'll take some valerian root about 30 to uh, 60 minutes before bed. Uh, valerian is what's called a GABA agonist. So it increases GABA activity in the brain. Um, GABA is our calming neurotransmitter. So um, if you're having any issues with, with sleep, definitely uh, think about trying some valerian. And if you have questions about any of these herbs, whether they're appropriate for you, how much to take, feel free to reach out um, via the patient portal or give us a call. I'm happy to help in any way. Um, stress on the body is a big, big chronic issue and it can lead to other chronic health issues down the road. So we want to prevent that as much as we can right now. Um, I wish you well, and I hope that I will uh, talk to you or see you soon.